Welcome back to Elden Ring everyone. If you saw the last episode of this playthrough, you probably know that I got pretty frustrated with this game. Uh, since then I've managed to beat Gideon Ofnir. The video which you are probably going to see right now, I was just recording so it's not like commented on it or anything, but it's like three minutes so enjoy that. Okay, now that we're back, let's go ahead and move on. See, I don't... Th I do have a rune. I was gonna say, I have 67,000 souls, which I think is right on the cusp of me being able to level up. So let's do this. Let's get a couple of more levels before we... No, 83. Okay, never mind then. Before we move on, uh, I'm assuming we're going back to where the Earth Tree... Like, not even the Earth Tree, where Morgoth's arena is. What do you got to say? The Lord has returned at long last. Interesting. <clears throat> the first Lord was... Godwin. I get confused with the names. Godwin? No. Godfrey, right? Or something like that. I have no idea. Um, one of those gods. I think Godfrey. Yeah, so we're gonna move on. Um, I don't know where this is gonna lead. I very strongly... Wait! Didn't we pick up this spell already? I very strongly have a feeling that uh, this is the end game. I don't know how many bosses there are left. Probably a couple. But this this definitely is end game feeling. I mean, look at this. We're straight up going... <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna have a boss. We're straight up going to the Burning Earth Tree. Uh, there might be a final dungeon. You never know. So let's check out if there's any NPCs. No Melina, because... Rip. Rip to Melina. 
Let's see who we have. Oh shit. It's been a long while, Morgoth. Rip Morgoth, best boss in the game. This guy's voice is kind of epic. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Alas, I <laughs> it's cool. And he has a kitty. Ghost kitty helping him. Godfrey, he's Godfrey. His voice is very epic. I like it. GG's to the voice actor. Yeah, it's the same dude. As in the ghost version. Except real. So we should be okay here if he really does have the same move set. I assume he has some lion attacks. Um, I'd have some lion attacks if I had a lion strapped to my back. He's well armored. Horns are going crazy. That's the attack you have to be careful of. Shit. Oh, shit. Uh oh. I knew it. Not a lion attack per se, but equivalent. He's definitely bleedable. Oh. This takes like whoa. He takes like no damage. Now we're gonna have some lion attacks. Yep. Let's get him out of there because just the visual chaos. Thing. Those are definitely <clears throat> extended combos. He did not have combos like that. Expected. Very much so. I was just about to say, when I got him like to half HP, I'm like, where is the transformation? Oh, it's not exactly a ghost kitty. What the hell? First of all, this is loud. Cool. What is he doing? He has like Battle Beast on him, <laughs> I just realized. Yeah. Oh, did it kill the cat? 
I think so. I've given thee enough. <coughs> Sorry about the cough during this cutscene. Oh, he's going, he's going nuts. I like it. Kratos. <laughs> I like it. Warrior! 90s cartoons shit. Oh shit. Ho oh, ho! I just realized I don't have a lot of HP. Fucking hell. <laughs> I like it. Oh, he definitely has grabs. It's like going Zangief mode. <laughs> I like this. Shit, he really is playing more on combat out here. I was gonna, yep. More on combat DLC, for sure. Whoa. He has strings too. Like, it's crazy. What the hell are you doing? Jump that. He's strong. He's strong. Still has a lot of HP left, and there's not a lot of chances to hit him. I just gotta take no damage or less damage in phase one. Finally, finally, we have an enjoyable boss. This is this is good boss mechanics. Fair but tough, which has been strangely absent up until this point. I'm gonna try to get them 70k. Oh. I did not know you could do that. Thank fuck he missed me with that. Thought he was gonna jump. Fuck. Okay. See, he actually respects us, which is nice. It's a welcome change of pace. Welcome back to Elden Ring, everyone. Since the last sort of fight with Godfrey, several things have happened. Well, one very big thing happened, and that is I finally switched out my main weapon. Uh, I did look up some videos of people fighting Godfrey, because I just wanted to sort of see what kind of damage they were doing and shit, and I realized I am not doing jack shit damage to him. I wasn't doing jack shit damage to him with my, what you call it, with my uh, omen killer or omen blade or whatever that weapon is called. It's just insane. I've held the theory now that this game does not like heavy weapons. Uh, and I think seeing people do like 400 damage with their katanas while I was doing 405 with my giant ass slow curved greatsword it really drove home that this is not shit this is not where the money is I think the money is uh, with fast weapons so I looked around a little bit I was sort of trying to figure out what to use 
and I settled on this. This is the Frozen Needle. It's a rapier. Honestly, the reason I picked it is pretty much arbitrary. Essentially, I had more somber smithing stones sp to spare than regular smithing stones. And... What is this? Oh yeah, this. And this was a weapon that was easy to get and convenient and all that good shit. Plus, I kind of like rapiers. Plus, it inflicts frost. Uh, so, it had several things going for it. Um, and just look at how much more damage. Like, listen, I can get two strikes in basically every opportunity. And with that, I am dealing way more damage. Plus, this thing inflicts frostbite. You know, it's just insane how shitty heavy weapons are. I mean, look at it. Like, look at how many strikes I can get in. Shit. crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And because... Oh, shit. And because, you know, I'm not constantly stressing about hitting him. Like, with the fact that with the Omen Killer... No, it's not Omen Killer. What is it called? Omen Greatsword? I was constantly stressing about actually hitting him. Like, when can I get a hit in? Uh, it's, it just doesn't happen with this weapon. My face cam is kind of fucked up. Hold on. It's still gonna be difficult. I mean, this is not an easy boss. It's just, I feel like... This is gonna make the whole rest of the game easier. Um, however many bosses or what dungeons or whatever left. Uh, I think currently in this game, or like with these end game bosses, because I was doing okay with the weapon until now. But with these current bosses, like endgame bosses, w the way they're set up, I think slow weapons are not really viable. Unless you really do have, like, a uh, full, full, full heavy build, you know. And you have, like, giant armor and shit. Shit. Okay, cool. This is, I think, the best I've done getting to this phase. I did. I really do like the dynamics of this fight. Um. Oh shit. Hmm. That's the issue. Like. If he stuns you with that, I don't know if it's possible to avoid the the earthquake move. <sighs> I stunned him out of it. Cool. Fuck. Okay, this is only my second time here. Versus Mr. Command Grabber. Shit, yeah, yeah, okay, I'm fucked. I'm fucked, yeah. Shit, delayed. You really do gotta be ready for... Okay. I'm sure you can jump that. <laughs> this guy is playing... He's straight up playing Street Fighter or Tekken or... 
well, more on combat, whichever. He's in that. He's in that mode. You really do gotta be ready for that phase. If the thing about it is, if he catches you with that ground stomp move, that like giant AOE explosion, you're so fucked. Like, if you get knocked down and you're standing up and he does it, it's just you're getting hit. I don't think you can jump that. Scratch that. This is the best I've done getting to this phase. I'm trying a different tactic now. Um, what I'm trying to do is one, le one rep of bleed and one rep of frostbite. Like, I feel like that. Oh shit, that was a wasted heal. If only it wasn't so hard to hit him with the Reduvia. Oh shit. No. Okay, you can't jump it. I mean, it might be that I mistimed it. Shit. What is he doing? Shit. Jump. I always forget. Yeah. Thank you. They knew that was a fucked up attack too, because it doesn't actually deal a lot of damage. He's so cool. Okay, we need that more range. Oh, fuck. Is he going for... No, he's not. He's still insanely hard to hit. Shit, I'm dead. Yeah. No, okay, I got the heal off. Oh fuck, I'm dead. That wasn't bad. That wasn't a bad attempt. Okay. I feel like I keep like I keep getting better at the first phase. I just need more chances to practice this phase. Cuz he's he, he's going to kill me. No, no, he's not. Okay, that's his weak grab. That's not his weak grab. Okay, thank fuck. Shit, he's very fast. Ah, I'm dead. Cool. So what I just need to do is get more practice in for this phase, because he can kill you so quickly. I've not seen this attack before. That I always forget. The crazy thing is you can survive that. I think with a well-timed dodge you can. Uh, it's just very difficult. So you aren't forced to take the damage if you get stuck uh, in the middle. Ah, shit. 
This is the low damage grab. Shit! Am I gonna... Oh, fuck. Just does a lot of damage. Fuck. Man, Zangief's command grab doesn't have this much tracking. I wish it did. I'd play more Zangief for sure. Capcom, are you paying attention? See? Ah, no, 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 you can't. This phase is very difficult. This phase is incredibly difficult. Uh, you just feel like you have no window to attack him. Okay. Shit. I think this is a one and run phase. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, he does an AoE. Okay, here we are once again. <gasps> yes! Okay, this should give me a chance to heal. God, that does no damage. It's almost like a counter move. Yeah, it's almost like that. One and two. Come on, do something. Fuck. Sorry if I'm not saying much, uh, I think you can understand why. Fuck. Come on, do something. I 
hate that kick. Seven? Or I don't even know how many. Oh, fuck. No. Shit. Don't panic. That's not that move. No, don't jump inwards, you absolute fuck. <gasps> what the frostbite? That couldn't have a better, a better time. Frostbite, chef's kiss. You couldn't have, you could not have triggered at a better time. Holy shit. I still think I would have gotten him even without the frostbite. Man, finally, finally after a long while, pretty much um, until, like pretty much from Landell. I'm finally enjoying this game. We finally have a good boss. Um, it's really incredible. I think people who sort of are well versed in Souls games and are knowledgeable sort of will understand what I'm talking about when I say what the difference is between like a boss like him and a boss like the Godskin duo. It's difficult to explain, but I feel like people who play this game play a lot of Souls games. Like everybody can understand the difference. Or even Malekith. I thought Malekith was shitty as well. This guy was very good. He's exactly what an endgame Souls boss should be. Dynamic, the fight has sort of uh dance like quality all his attacks are fair uh the very damaging attacks are well telegraphed one of my biggest issues with malekith was uh that he has insane damage but his attacks are not very well telegraphed like everything comes out so quick with this guy you knew if you knew he was going for like you knew he was going for a giant grab like you knew and you always had a chance to dodge Fuck, let's see what happens. I don't know how long this episode will be overall. It's difficult to... When I fight bosses like this, it's difficult to gauge the length of an episode because, you know, it's just... I've been recording for 40 minutes and I don't know how many of these attempts are even worth keeping in. When you're just playing, it's something, but then I look back and I'm like, a lot of these attempts are same-ish. Uh, whatever. Let's just see what this is. Either we're going to have another dungeon, uh, which I'm hoping kind of not, or we're going to have some sort of final area slash boss. Jesus Christ. That is a lot of... That's going to burn your eyes out if you're playing this game at like 2 a.m. in the dark. Uh, this is definitely the final boss. And I... Yeah, that's Marika, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I knew it was going to be Marika. Like, I knew from the start. Yeah, it's her. <laughs> That's actually very cool. I like her visuals. That's gonna be her hammer. Holy shit. She looks creepy too. I do like the effect they have going with the runes and everything. She's coming to life. We have... Oh, okay. Dramatic intro. Oh, the... that's the music from the trailer. That's cool. <laughs> nice. Well, let's just give this a shot. 
Radag Wait, this is not America. Oh, this is Radagon. Holy shit. Okay. Similar ish attacks to Godfrey. It's faster. Uh, but Radagon is her husband, right? Her second husband. He basically came in and cucked Godfrey and took her, right? I remember from the turtle. Okay, camera. You're bobbing and weaving. I'm just trying to see what he can do. I don't care about my flasks and everything. Oh shit. He has Magique. Oh, he can be Frostbit. Big explosion? No. God, switching to a faster weapon, man. I can't even tell you. I wouldn't be able to even hit this guy with the Omen Blade. Oh, fuck. Anime. Mm hmm Okay. He's definitely gonna have a second phase. I can already tell. Like, even now I can tell this is too easy. Like... Yeah, I was gonna say, is that gonna explode one more time? It is, yeah. Grab. Yeah, this is... Mm -hmm. I was gonna say if I can jump that, but he varies up his timings. I do like his attacks. I do appreciate that finally in this game they didn't go for the lightning for the final boss and instead went with this like golden like it's more like light magic than like electricity. Hmm. Maybe the second phase is America. Um she's gonna like I don't know, climb out of him like a fucking Ishin does out of Genichiro. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I feel like we've given this boss a fair shot. I know, I know, like, he's, he's way too... The fact that I was just fucking around and got that far basically tells me that he's gonna have something else going on. Still, Godfrey, thank you. FromSoft, you're back. Uh, why couldn't you have made more endgame bosses like him? And more got. Um, yeah, I'll wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring. I'm playing Hopscotch. Um, if you did, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. There is a good chance the next episode is going to be the finale. Um, yeah. Stay tuned for that. Peace out and goodbye.